Greetings and salutations, you two wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Planet of the Apes Last Frontier. I have no idea how much we have left in this uh, chapter here, but I uh, guess we're back to the prison cells now. Last episode uh, with the apes, our father died. Spoiler Rainy, alert. What Sorry. The hell? Rain's picking up guns. We've been firing pea shooters at those damn apes. Some of them had goddamn assault rifles for crazy. They, they did. That they did. Not without my say, it's overkill. Uh, it's overkill. I don't know. It's overkill. Wait a second, Rainy. You're handing these out to the whole compound. That's it's a little overkill. bit overkill. Better yeah. safe than dead, especially if we go after them right where they live. Okay. Uh, hit them before they hit us. We're going nowhere. We're not going back out there. Did you see we lost a man to a spear to the freaking heart? We're not going back out there. No, thank you. We're not going anywhere. Not for now. This is war, Jess. I wanted we to go save your cattle, but that's it. Here. It's kill them, or they are gonna kill us. That's not really how it works. We do have a choice. No, we do have a choice. No one wants more bloodshed. Exactly. So, we just sit back and we wait for them. That your plan? I mean, they attacked us because we attacked them. That part Can't is true. You see that? Break out the heavy stuff. I'll make the goddamn calls. Rainy, I'm I'll in charge calls, here. Rainy. You just make sure you and your men are on board. Ooh. Ooh. We just we just grabbed him by the balls right there. We, <laughs> we just grabbed here. him. At least carry a decent weapon. I'll take that though. I will take that. Alright. Yeah, give it to For me. For defense. All right, it's your call, but put some ammunition God, in it. If you're wrong, and they come for us, we'd be better wrong, defending ourselves here than we would out off. there. And then we'll follow them back into the forest, find their camp, and then we'll hunt them down like rats. Oh, like rats. Anyway. Why would we want to go out into the freaking woods again to try and fight them where they probably would have the advantage because they know the terrain a lot better than we freaking do and they're in the goddamn trees. At least here they'd have to come and attack us over open ground and we have walls and buildings that we could hide in. Of course it makes more sense to stay here, at least in my opinion. Like I said, I wanted to go out and get his cattle but that's about it. I didn't want to freaking go out there and hunt them down. That's never what I wanted. Of course I don't want to fight anyway but you know, it feels like I... I don't know if I really have a choice here. It seems like it's kind of just leading that way. Of course, freaking, um, Tala's about to go all out war mode here with the apes. And I don't want that either. But there's not much that I can do to stop him either. So, the war calls have been made. And I don't know if I can stop them. Why would we just keep handing the torch from person to person? What the frick is this going on? I'm not with you. I just want you to know that. I do not support what you're doing. I've made that. What the frick is sticking out of his ear? Oh, this is still part of the funeral. We're giving him a barrel at sea. A freaking what is this? Viking funeral? Sort of. I think this is how those go. Or went. Khan is dead. Who said Tola that? is leader now. Oh. Why did he have to say it like that? It sounded like he was kind of happy for a second. Like, oh, he's dead, guys. We got a new leader. And off he goes, burning into the friggin' distance. That's a, that's a nice image there. <laughs> it's a nice image just to watch your father go. He didn't even look at it for more than like two seconds. He was just like, well, well dad's burning. <laughs> dad's dead. We're going to burn him and just walk away. Bryn's still looking. Or we're still looking. Aww. Yeah, I don't know. Tala's just like, nah, I'm done. I'm ready to go. Where's our child, by the way? Where the frick? Did we leave him somewhere? Clarence, how are you doing? How are you holding up during all this? Juno looks like a freaking mess. Yeah. It's kind of his fault, but not really. It's his fault in a way because he fell out of the tree, but, I mean, it's not like he tried to do it, so. And Tala's gonna be freaking aggravated. That's true. Tyler's very quick to anger. I can't teach him jack squat. 
Exactly. Oh, there's our child. He's he's right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Clarence is right just because I have to try. I can't just be like, oh, he's a lost cause. I have to try something. We have to try. We don't have a choice. Possibly. Or we'll kill him in the process. That's how we'll do this. You'll listen to freaking Brutus, probably. Brutus will smack him in the face a couple times. Exactly. They should have picked me anyway, but because Tal was older, he got it. Which doesn't freaking make sense, but I guess, well, I guess I understand. Maybe. I really don't think he can. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to kill him if we're gonna want peace. Oh, here comes freaking Brutus. Speak of the devil. <laughs> what do you want, Brutus? Wants to talk about what? I don't want to talk. Oh! You can't be mean to Clarence like that. You apologize to him. Forget <laughs> Not you, old one. I want the young blood in here. Okay, well, jeez. He was fu- Your dad told us to listen to Clarence. You're not listening to Clarence. You're just sh shoving him away by the wayside. He looks like a freaking sinister piece of crap over here in this corner. Looks like the devil himself is, like, illuminating him. <laughs> Alright, well... You dare sit where he sat. And Brutus so goddamn close. Like, he just wants to... I don't know what Brutus is here for, to be honest. Is he like the personal bodyguard? Yeah, why not? You better be glad Brutus is here, because I freaking throw some fire on you right now. Now our father... Well, I guess I'm glad you want to hear. Yes, there can be. You don't understand. There can be. We don't need to do this. I see danger. We have no choice. I see danger. Wait, that's not what I meant. Do I not have a choice? God dang it. I don't like this. I smell fear, brother. Yeah, I'm fearing that we're going to lose everybody. Brutus, alright, you, you can be the first one to charge and then get shot in the face. Go ahead. Go right the frick ahead. I'm going to let you do that. You have your fun. I'm going to stay back here. Human blood must flow or we dishonor our father. That's not what he wanted. I'm not coming. I'm not coming with you. I refuse. We must take our time. I'm not coming with you. If I have a choice of whether I want to go with him or not, I'm going to let him friend go. He gets shot in the face. That's his fault. Exactly. The father teach you nothing. We can't do that. We cannot do this. Not this way. Exactly. More apes will die. That's the only. That's what I'm concerned about. Maybe if you, you didn't think about that part. Me, no, Again. I will not. I will not kneel to you. Tonight, we kill humans. No, Mr. Sinister. I'm not coming. Give me my choice, game. Give me my choice, because I will say no, I'm not coming. Brutus, why don't you just go on my place? Why don't you just go? Our strongest warrior. Clouds, come. Clouds, rise. What did he say? I don't know what he said. I have no clue what he just said there. I'm sorry. Oh, he said Clarence. Oh, I thought he said Clarence, but I was like, wait, Clarence? Why would Clarence come with him? Clarence is gonna... You know what? He's doing that so he can get Clarence killed off. That's what he's doing it for. He's probably gonna shoot Clarence himself. Just so we don't have to listen to him. I know what your plan is. I don't agree with it. At all. Just letting you know. God dang it. We didn't, we didn't have a chance to convince him anything. Of anything. He just kind of was like, nah, brother, I'm going to do this, and you're going to follow me, and you're going to obey. And I'm just sitting there like, well, <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice here. All right, relationship with Rainy is poor. I guess that's probably the end of the chapter. Relationship with Mira is great. Relationship with Mark is okay. Relationship with Willis is okay. Rainy just, <laughs> yeah. We uh, we don't have the greatest relationship with Rainy. I'm probably going to continue a little bit more, though, into this. Um, Let's see.
Relationship with Tala is awful. Relationship with Juno is great. Relationship with Clarence is good. Relationship with Oak Oeka is great. Khan is deceased, of course, because uh, I don't really know if there was any other way to stop him from dying. Chapter 3, Lines in the Sand. So is there possibly a, 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 a peace agreement here if we're drawing lines in the sand? If you don't cross this line, humans don't cross this, and we don't have to fight? Is that what we're saying right now? I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want this blood on my hands. But I feel like I'm not being given an option. So, yeah. I'm hoping that this is not one of those... I, there's so many different... I've heard there's a lot of... Or read that there's a lot of different endings. So I, I'm trying to, like... Hope this is not like Telltale where they tell you the choices matter and then they freaking don't and it ends the same way one way or the other. Just maybe slightly different. I don't want that. Yep, that's definitely a town, Clarence. It's definitely a town. I would, I agree with you, Clarence. I 100% agree with you. This is why you're the wise one. <laughs> I don't want this attack either. I agree with you, Clarence. 100%. I agree with you. There's a lot of them, and we have, a lot of us have spears. How are we supposed to kill them with spears? Some of us have assault rifles, the rest of us have spears. This is not gonna be an attack. They have an armory, okay? They have a lot, a lot more than we can do. So, this is probably not the best choice at all. How am I supposed to destroy the lights? You want me to go down here and do this? The attack is unwise. I'm just going to voice my disapproval again. Disapproval. I want you to know that I'm not with this. And what the frick? They have... I'm pretty sure they have flashlights. Or something. How do you know they're asleep? People stay up all night long. They have people on guard for this specific reason. I'm still not being given an option, even though I'm saying that I don't want to do this. Juno has no weapon whatsoever. He's going to die. He and Clarence are going to die. I just have a bad feeling about it. I don't like it at all. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Oh, no. This is going to be the choice I get. You protect Clarence? Hmm. Oh, boy. If I don't keep Juno by... Oh, no. But if I take him with me and he gets shot... But if I leave him back here and then he's part of the attack with... If Clarence is... Oh, God. Oh. I feel like I'm going to lead Juno to death if I take him with me. You protect Clarence. Yeah, stay and protect Clarence. we got to make sure he's safe. There's got to be something protecting him from being shot by freaking Tala and calling it an accident, because I know that's what he'll do. I guess I'm glad you... Oh, okay, Tala, that was unnecessary. Freaking jump scare from over there. Don't talk about him like that. You don't have to put him down either. You don't have to keep putting him down. It's not fair. Yeah, Juno wanted to come with me. I just told him to stay here. Stop breathing like that at me. Well, he's here. And you need all the manpower you can get if this is what you want to do. Why'd you bring Clarence then? Clarence is not a warrior either, so I mean, what the freak did you bring him for? Other than just to sit here and tell you what you already know, that this is a stupid idea. Yeah, I'm sorry, Juno. Listen, you're brave. You're the bravest one I know. I would agree with that. Yeah, exactly. I think Clarence agrees too. <laughs> Tala is leader. I should lead. <laughs> I wish. We could plot an overthrow. A coup. Me and you, Juno. Together. I wasn't joking. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I want to overthrow Tala. And lead this the right way. What the frick, Clarence, what, what are you doing over there with your hand movements? That is true, Clarence. I know that. That's why I didn't want this, but I wasn't given a choice. I just had to go along with it. And now I have to be part of this. Clarence, stay back. Yeah, Clarence, stay back. Yeah, just go run off somewhere in the woods. He won't know. He'll think you died somewhere. 
what Juno. Doesn't matter what Tala says, it doesn't. Exactly. I'm not afraid if I'm with you. Well, I'm sorry, you can't be with me this time, Juno. Alright? You have to protect Clarence, because I need someone to do it. And I, if I have to go with this attack, then I, I can't can't do it myself, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. I guess I'm going to take out the lights. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Can I just throw my gun down and say I come in peace? Is that a thing? Orange is a new black achievement unlocked. I don't know what that part was for, but okay. How many people do they have out right now patrolling? They have people on rooftops and everything. How the frick do we expect this to work? Tala doesn't know what he's doing whatsoever. Like, we're, we are going to die. All of us. <laughs> Did we make it up on the roof already, or is it... No. We're just walking up. Okay. Cool. <laughs> just walking up. We'll have to jump up this tower somewhere. Guess we're just gonna sneak our way in. Did we bring our gun? I don't know if we did. I feel like we we had to have if we take out the lights, right? Oh boy. This is gonna be tough, isn't it? Do I actually have to do any of this? Because I suck at stealth. I like stealth, but I suck at it. <laughs> if I have an option to go stealthy or go loud. Oh. Oh, I didn't really want to do... Frick. Sometimes I keep... Wait, that's the sun, isn't it? Is that Mark? I didn't want to do that. Oh, no. Wait, how did I... What? How did I kill him? I think I killed Mark. And I didn't want to kill Mark. I, I want to see what happens if I don't press anything else for the rest of this time. Like, I don't want to kill anybody else. Do I have to do this? I don't want to do this if it involves me killing people. Can I just not? Can I knock someone out? Why did it say I had to kill him? And that literally could not have killed him. I just jumped down on him and freaking smacked him in the face. That was about it. It wasn't a vicious blow either. Like, I could see if maybe I just pounded him in the chest or something. But that that wasn't the case. So, I mean, oh boy. Can I just not do anything? If I don't do anything, do I get shot? Do I, oh, God. I'm just going to try. I'm just going to try and see what happens if I don't do anything. Well, actually, I guess there's not another one for that one. I guess I'm just climbing my way through. I guess I was unseen there. All right. Well, across to the lights we go. I'm assuming there'd be somebody up here protecting this, right? I just don't get it, Mom. Oh, I she didn't kill Mark. Reeves organizing things. They've done this before. They know how to kill apes. They're lucky they showed up. Are we really? I don't want to be this. I don't want to do this. I don't trust them. And it's my job to keep the town safe. That is true. It is our job now. I thought I killed him. I thought I was very worried leaving? for a second. Huh? Why are you letting them go? It makes no sense. They chose to go. Think Rainy could do better? We make our own decisions. They wanted for to be in control. We have to make our own decisions. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm just saying. They did not hear that? At all? They didn't hear that? Look. I don't hear that either. <laughs> Before he got sick, Dad used to make the tough calls around here. That's true. And the town always followed him. Dad's dead, though. But maybe people don't know if you can make those kind of decisions. That's been a question since day one. Like with these apes. Rainy has said this. It turns into war. I didn't want a war. That's why I said we're staying do? here. There won't be a war. I need I need Bryn to hear that. War. So we can go back and tell Tala just gotta think, you know. that the humans actually want peace. What would Dad do? He wouldn't want a war with the apes, that's that's for sure. I've got this, I'm trying my best. I've got this. Listen. I've got this. I've got this, 100%. We're gonna I've got be okay. this. Trust me. You don't trust me, though. <laughs> you don't. I already see it in your eyes. You do not trust me. Oh, did we still somehow knock off the lights? How did we manage to do this? Uh oh. Mom. Uh oh. This isn't good. Mark, take over. Uh oh. I don't like the way this is going already. We're What's ringing going the on? bell. Oh, there's just freaking eight jumping from rooftop to rooftop now. Mark, keep ringing that alarm until we have lights. I need to get to the generator. This is the only alarm we have is the freaking yeah, giant this, church bell. You stay up here. No way, you need a gun. I'm coming. Didn't we give her a right? Didn't she have a rifle? Who oh, now have a flare? Okay, this gun. is great. When the lights come back on, you'll need it. 
Oh boy. Mark, I love you. Oh no. That, that means she's gonna go out and die. That's what always happens. Don't kill Mark though. He's young. He doesn't deserve this. <laughs> None of us deserve this right well. <laughs> Raina could get attacked by a friggin' uh, an ape. I don't care. It'd be fine with me. So I guess we're going back to the human side. I think, at the very least. Can I not shoot? Is there a thing? Is there a choice here? Shoot flare into the sky? F into the sky. Why would I shoot the ape with the flare? I mean, I guess it does work, but... Oh, that's what I was doing? I was signaling him? Oh, God. I don't even know who that was. That's not really what I meant to do. God dang it. They weren't giving me choices Josh, here. I think we can get the generator working. Yeah, all right, you cover me then while I go there. Are they just sending the horses in here? What the frick? What is that? What? A horse-drawn freaking cart on fire. There go the horses. <laughs> oh boy, this is a freaking war zone here. The crops! We need to get this up and running now. Not the crops. God dang it, the crops are on fire. We, we can't afford this. I, I guess I'm going to save the crops by myself with a fire extinguisher. The crops are going to be poisoned anyway now at this point. <laughs> all right. Spray! Extinguish the fires of the crops. All right, I'm pretty sure I did it, right? <laughs> Here we go, trying to fire, firefighter our way through, trying to save what the crops were even there. There we go. Get rid of that fire. I love how in the middle of a firefight, we're able to put out a fire. Okay. Yeah, we're not being attacked by apes while we're doing this. The apes are just dying in the background over there, though. This is, uh, this is a great decision to do this in the middle of a firefight. All right. Do we have to put that out too? I don't think that was necessary to be completely honest. <laughs> that we could have let that stay on fire. Well, I guess it, it would have burned the ground and then burned to the crops. So I guess maybe that's why. Oh, it's gonna be Tala, isn't it? It's gonna be freaking Tala. Shooting the flare. I'm not shooting it. I'm shooting the flare. Fireball, fire start. Oh, oh, I shot it with the flare. That's not what I meant to do, actually. That's not what I meant to do. I just shot the freaking ape with the flare. Okay, and he's freaking. I wasn't giving up. I wasn't really given many options here. Oh, the lights are back on. I think. How do we get the generator back on? We didn't even do this. How freaking did the generator just come back on? Who did that? So maybe Rainy? We're just up on top. Freaking tall is up top of the roof and just unloading on him from up there. Not doing jack squat on the ground, though. Of course, because he's freaking too scared to come down on the ground. So many different things happening all at once. Just apes crossing over everywhere. It's the, we're surrounded. What are we supposed to do here? We're just gonna freaking kneel down in the middle of the <laughs> freaking battlefield and just cry about it? Oh boy. Lift, give us, give us your help. We need you, statue. What kind of crazy crap would it be that like the statues came to life or something all of a sudden? <laughs> but I'm gonna end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.